What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about this No City Gem Sling Bag. But before we get started, just to let everybody know, I did message the boys uh, from No City and told them that I really want to check and try this bag out. Guess what they did? They politely and kindly sent this over. I'm really glad I, that I received this bag because these are perfect. You can tell like they are really collectors doing things and making products for collectors. Yeah, I'm just going to check this bag out and let you guys know what's up. The bag comes with a plastic wrapping along with this No Nice no city shoe bag thingy. A couple of features that I want to get into is this fit lock that they have. The cool thing about this buckle is that it's actually magnetic. So there are no like physical locks. You don't have to press a single thing. All you gotta do is just and it goes in. You just have to push and slide. It's quick, it's a quick on and off. So if you want to adjust the bag, if you want to take it off easily. And the other cool thing about the bag is of course the front pouch and the magnetic clasps as well. Over here you can see, it's pretty slick. Those two features aside, the bag basically has this really cool inner modular case that you can put all your card slabs and they have like modular sleeves that you can put all these cards in it. So the reason why they call it modular is because they provide us with like a couple of these removable dividers which are uh, velcro which you can just take it out put it the way you like put four pockets three pockets you know what i mean entirely up to you you want to put your graded card you want to put your top loader sleeves and the height is just made for cards so I'm from Singapore and the thing about the culture here is we don't really have a lot of card expos but I understand that the culture over at the States is a lot different which is why I think this product is might be perfect for a lot of people over in the States. We do have a lot of graders here and the card community and culture here is pretty huge in my opinion. So even if you want to go to grade your cards or you're collecting your graded cards back from the shop or basically just want to go play some card games with your friends, you can put like a couple of all these magnetic like top loaders and savers and they are like perfect for the bag. But I have a couple of savers here just to go through how many cards you can put in this modular inner case. According to the website, they can store up to 28 graded cards, 100 top loaders, 100 card savers or 24 magnetic card holders. The main reason why I think no CD bag is great because it's really versatile. Let's say you're not a big grader for example, you're just a card collector or you just want to play some card games. You can put a deck box in it. You can put your wallet in it. You can put, I don't know man, your tissue packet. You can put your coins, you can put your phone and it works perfect. When you have this modular in a case, you just put it back into the gem sling bag as a whole and voila, you go out to play. There's also an alternative for you. Let's say you don't want to be carrying this zip, zip bag out. You want to be putting a bunch of stuff. After you remove the inner bag, this basically serves as a pretty slick sling bag. You can put everything inside. I could put my phones, I could put my keys, everything could be slotted inside if I don't want uh, the inner boundary place with me. And even if I do, I could still put everything in this um, inner case before I slot them into the main bag. Design wise, let's be honest, it looks pretty slick in my opinion. I would wear this bag even if I'm not a card collector and I have done it multiple times because I don't really grid a lot of cards and I don't really play a lot of cards. I'm just a collector and I've used this bag out of the norm not for cuts, just like for going outside. And the only thing that I want to talk about is how the sling is sort of uh, made, like the sides over here. I don't really like, like the design that they've done with, you know, it's more like a waist bag instead of a sling bag. If they would have made it to a certain way that the, the strap actually goes up this angle. Besides that, I think the bag is perfect. It's currently at 90 USD, so if you're from Singapore, it's gonna be about like $130. It's a decent price, and if you're a card collector, I think this is actually perfect. Guess what? The team from No City, they are so on point that they're already making like the second version of the bag based on the feedback from all the collectors. I think with this bag, I'm gonna be 
I'm gonna start grading my cards at the local stores really soon because the way the cards fit in the bag it makes it feel so good like you just want to put all these like top loaders and all these slabs in it and especially if you are in the United States or any other country that has a lot of like card conventions dude this bag is awesome I've seen one of the prototypes that the guys are already creating and I think they can fit a lot more slabs it looks a lot more sleeker and I really can't wait uh, I might probably just purchase that with my own money yeah that's all about the Mo City bag that I have for you guys I really love the product couple of reasons why you want to use the gem sling bag if you are into card collecting if you're into like grading if you're into playing cards if you are into trading and selling cards this is perfect for you and even if you are not it works as a pretty slick sling bag and the greatest thing is to have that option for you to choose whether you want to use the inner modular bag or not and how you want to put the dividers into uh, different compartments two compartments four compartments to put different things it's just so versatile that uh, that I love it man like you don't have to be a collector to actually be using this bag I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you're looking for a sling bag like this do check No City out put the links in the description below and go say hi to the boys they're really friendly they'll, they'll retweet you they'll repost repost the stuff and they'll probably reply to you as well if you have a question uh, just ask them into their DMs